It's nice that they're promoting their lessons. However, it looks like it's a handwritten over uh, $15 to $18, and really the going rate is probably closer to $20 or $25. So you want to have a professionally printed sign, and it doesn't look like somebody hand wrote on here. No scotch tape in the windows, glass is made to see through, and you want to date it and promote it and then pull it down after a certain length of time, like 30 days. But the exterior needs to get cleaned up, curb appeal, traffic flow starts outside. So if we can power wash the front, fresh coat of paint, it goes a long way. Entry mat to keep the dust and the dirt from uh, coming into the store. You could have, may you enjoy uh, the gift of music uh, in a logo pattern or your name in your, in your business. And, or just lessons for me now. Why not? I mean, where does it say lessons for me now? It's guitar lessons, but we want to have lessons for me now and maybe show off that they have other lessons just besides the guitar. Also, the two big grand pianos in the store, in the small store, eat up a lot of space. So two uprights would free up a lot more space for, for selling and for other lesson rooms. We like to have a drive aisle, and when you have a lot of foot traffic, you're going to have a lot of stains in the carpets. We can go with a hard surface in this area where people have restroom into the lesser rooms. If we had this in a hard surface, it would hold up a lot longer. And then you can see with the carpeting in the lesser rooms just for sound purposes. Lighting-wise, we have one layer of light in here. And what we want to have in retail is three layers of light. We want to have general lighting, accent lighting, which is track lighting, and then task lighting for specific tasks. That could be showcase lighting or signage. And that also could be done in the windows with some neon, so you get some drive-by traffic, a lot of walk-by traffic. We can create some excitement in the window displays. Uh, this superstructure that was built needs to uh, be cleaned up. It's sort of rustic. These braces could be put on the top. You could also be threaded rod up through the ceiling and keep the nice sight lines through here so nobody hits their head on these. And then they could also get wrapped and cleaned up so they look a little more uh, modern. This back wall here is prime real estate. Everybody that comes to the counter has to see this wall. And looking into the lesson rooms, they already have windows on the other side for privacy and for security purposes you can see in. So this wall, this window here is really not necessary. We can put product up. Some of the changes I'd make is create a little niche right here for all the food to be contained in one area away from the front desk. And then create a little, uh, another lesson room here. And four to, five, four to five in the corner is going to be a great idea because it's going to make it a little more interesting and, and be able to have some visibility down to this area. Then... The idea of the two lesser rooms in the front of the store is, is, is great because you're going to see movement and activities, so all the people walking by in the store. In here, what we do, this takes up a lot of square footage. And what you can do is bring this back and we can free up this wall and this wall for merchandising because it's prime real estate it's right in front. So bring this back to the desk over here. We can create a total built-in area, part desk and part checkout. And we can also, again, free up about all 50 square feet of selling space. Well, I'm excited about this opportunity to help out our buddy Kenny Smith, and uh, we can get this thing turned around, no, no, no problem at all.